hello friends so from the previous two or three videos we have been going through different type of harmonic torques in the previous video we have discussed asynchronous harmonic torques and the harmonic torques we saw that they are called the effect called crawling is present in the induction motor because of this fifth and seventh harmonic right? triple n harmonics will not exist if the phase spread is uh, 120 degree so you that the prominent harmonics are the fifth harmonic and seventh harmonic so i told you that as a small assignment i had left you a, a certain topics so today we will discuss that topic okay so i told you the torques which are produced by the seventh harmonic and fifth harmonic if they are induction torques the relative speed between those mmfs produced in the rotor as well as the stator should be the same you know that for the fundamental torque to exist the rotor mmf with respect to stator the stator MMF with respect to stator both has to be uh, stationary with respect to each other, right? That is both has to rotate with the same speed, synchronous speed. So that is what we have learned overall in induction motor. So today, when I tell you that there are induction torques which exist in the fifth harmonic speeds and seventh harmonic speeds, that also should hold good, okay? So what we will do is first, we will go through step by step. Sometimes these are asked in certain competitive exams also, so these are important. First, what we will do, we will find the slip which is produced by the fifth harmonic. First, we will take the fifth harmonic. Then we will take the seventh harmonic case. Okay. So, first we have to find the slip which is produced. Okay. The slip produced by the fifth harmonic. Fifth harmonic with respect to the rotor speed. With respect to the rotor speed. Now, what was the slip produced by the synchronous speed with respect to rotor? That was Ns minus Nr divided by Ns, right? So, this was the slip uh, normal, which is the fundamental, okay? Here, Ns is equal to 120 F electrical divided by P. So, this is the, we can call that this to be the fundamental slip. So now, we want to find slip which is produced by the fifth harmonic. So, you will write it as like this, okay? So, it is this value here. So, uh, what will be this value? This value will be equal to, uh, what is the uh, speed we have already seen what is the speed see for example this is the fundamental rotation in the clockwise direction so nr will be rotating in this direction we've seen that the fifth harmonic mmf will rotate in the opposite direction right it rotates in the opposite direction and with what speed minus or we can write it as rotates with ns divided by it rotates in the opposite direction with the speed ns divided by 5 okay so there are two ways you can write it uh, if you want you can just uh, add everything these two are in opposite direction right nr and ns by 5 is in opposite direction so you can either write it like this so ns divided by 5 because opposite direction relative speed you have to add plus nr divided by ns divided by 5 for some people what they like to do they used to they like to use this formula okay so one thing that you have to remember so or we can write it as s5 is equal to see the ns positive and nr is positive right in these two in this equation so that is with this with respect to this particular direction but here if you see ns by 5 is in the opposite direction therefore here when you write ns by 5 and you want to use this formula you have to put ns as negative okay either you use this or you can use the way i am telling you so here ns by 5 is in the opposite direction right so minus ns divided by 5 minus nr divided by minus ns by 5 ultimately the result that you get out of these two will be exactly the same so here you can write s5 will be equal to uh, i'll just write it as 1 plus okay i'll just write it as 1 plus um, this will be 5 into nr divided by ns 5 into nr divided by s but you know that nr is equal to 1 minus s into ns this is old induction motor formulas so from this we can write from this we can write nr divided by ns will be equal to 1 minus s right so this s5 will be equal to 1 plus 5 into 1 minus s right so i can write s5 to be equal to 6 minus 5s okay so if it's s is the slip produced by the fundamental uh, fundamental component so 6 minus 5s will be the slip which is produced uh, by the fifth harmonic with respect to the rotor speed okay so this is the speed difference okay so now next thing that we have to find is the 
speed of speed of the fifth harmonic mmf speed of fifth harmonic mmf with respect to the rotor first we found out slip produced by fifth harmonic with respect to rotor now we are finding speed of the fifth harmonic with respect to rotor now what was the speed of uh, the fundamental component you remember that it was 120 into fr divided by p right speed of the uh, rotor mmf with respect to the rotor this was that we have derived it earlier speed of the rotor mmf with respect to rotor was this formula and this fr value was equal to s into f electrical okay so that was the thing now here this value will be equal to 120 into frequency that frequency i have to find out what that is so that frequency is due to the fifth harmonic right so i'll write it as 5 here it is due to the fifth harmonic divided by how many poles are produced due to the fifth harmonic so what is the number of poles which are produced by the fifth harmonic if the number of poles produced by the fundamental is p the number of poles which are produced by the fifth harmonic will be 5 into p we have seen that in the previous videos so here it will be 120 f at the rotor divided by 5 p. so what will be this f5 value so this f5 value will be equal to slip produced by the fifth harmonic multiplied by fundamental frequency okay simple you wrote fr is equal to s into fe right so this s is the slip which is produced by the fundamental you can write it if you want write as s1 here here when you want to find the fifth harmonic frequency you have to multiply it by the fifth harmonic slip very simple so s5 into uh, f electrons so that is why we have been doing this derivation so this case it will be equal to uh, i'll just substitute here so we can just write it as this quantity i, I will just uh, write it as n s of 5 okay, i'll just write n s of 5 n s of 5 means speed of the fifth harmonic mmf with respect to the rotor okay so this will be equal to 120 into what is f5 value equal to f5 value is this one s5 into f electric s5 into s electric s5 is 6 minus 5s into f electric 6 minus 5s into f electric so this is 120 into 6 minus 5s into f electrical divided by 5p divided by 5p now you know that 120 f electrical divided by p 120 f electrical divided by p is equal to ns right this is the basic relation. 120 f electrical by p is ns so this ns of 5 ns of 5 will be equal to uh, 6 minus 5s 6 minus 5s into ns divided by 5 right 120 f electrical divided by pi is equal uh, divided by p is equal to ns so this ns of 5 will be 6 minus 5s into ns by 5 what is this ns of 5 it is the speed of the rotor mmf with respect to rotor okay now what is the third thing that we have defined the third thing that we have defined the speed of the rotor mmf rotor mmf with respect to stator with respect to the stator okay so what is this relation this we have already seen in the induction motor uh, some lecture i have already explained this speed of the rotor mmf with respect to stator will be equal to speed of the rotor mmf with respect to rotor with respect to rotor plus the speed of the rotor speed of the rotor right remember this explanation uh, here you are having the rotor which is rotating at the speed of nr right on top of that you are having this uh, that time i don't know what i named it let us call it as ns of r so okay so this is rotation of this is the rotor mmf and this is the rotor and you want to you are sitting here in the stator and you are watching this so we told that this value will be ns of r plus nr right so that is what we are seeing so here what we have to find here we have to find for the fifth harmonic right so we will write down that speed of the fifth harmonic fifth harmonic rotor mmf will be equal to the speed of the fifth harmonic rotor mmf speed of the fifth harmonic rotor mmf plus uh, speed of the rotor with respect to the stator speed of the rotor with respect to stator is nothing but nr okay this value is same so now we will just write down that okay so you know that uh, in this condition 
how is this condition let us see so you are sitting in this theta here okay you are sitting in this theta here and this is the direction of rotation of nr this is the direction of rotation of nr but the direction of rotation of the fifth harmonic component is in the opposite direction right so it is in the opposite direction so this is the speed the speed here uh, 6 minus 5s into ns by 5 or we can call it as ns of 5 right so these are in the opposite directions okay so you can see that when they were together we had to add it okay when they were together we had to add it but now you can see the rotor is rotating in this direction but this is rotating in the opposite direction so we have to actually subtract it okay so you can either write you can use the same equation and you can just put a negative sign here okay you can just put a negative sign because our positive is in the clockwise direction our positive is in the clockwise direction and this is in the opposite direction so to represent that you can put the negative uh, direction or else this is a simple common sense right so this is rotating in the clockwise direction this is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so with respect to this person it will look as if these speeds are opposing each other or uh, you have to subtract the speeds okay i have already discussed in that induction motor very depth so you can watch that video i'll try to put a link also here so here this will be equal to minus ns of 5 plus nr or i can write a nr minus ns of 5 so it will be nr minus ns of 5 okay so you can put this technique also you can you can use this equation and just you can put the negative sign or you can use this simple common sense also so this equation i will just write it here what is that this is uh, 6 minus 5s so minus of 6 minus 5s into ns divided by 5 plus nr right so this was the equation so if, what will you get when you solve this so we'll just try solving this so this will be equal to minus 6 by 5 into ns right minus 6 by 5 into ns plus uh, s into ns plus s into ns and this nr you can write it as plus ns into 1 minus s right nr is equal to ns into 1 minus s right so this i can again expand so this is minus 6 by 5 into ns plus s into ns plus ns minus s into ns right so this both will cancel so finally you will get if you solve these two you will get an expression of minus ns by 5 rpm right so what is this value this is the speed of the this is the speed of the fifth harmonic mmf with respect to the rotor this is the speed of fifth harmonic mmf fifth harmonic mmf with respect to the stator not rotor with respect to the stator okay so now finally we have to find the speed of fifth harmonic stator mmf fifth harmonic stator mmf with respect to stator now what was the uh, fifth harmonic uh, sorry what was the uh, fundamental mmf speed with respect to stator it was 120 f electrical divided by p okay so in this case nothing is going to change i have told you f electrical is never going to change because that is the supply frequency we are assuming the supply frequency to be having no harmonics so this will be 120 f electrical divided by but the number of poles will change i have told you due to the space harmonics the number of poles will change and due to this fifth harmonic how many poles will be there it will be 5p right it will be equal to 5p and this value will be equal to how much 120 Uh, f electrical divided by 5p so 120 f electrical divided by p is ns so this will be equal to ns divided by 5 and what will be the direction of rotation it will be the opposite direction of the rotor right it will be always in the opposite direction of the rotor so if you want you can put this negative term here also okay so this negative term only shows that this uh, speed this fifth harmonic stator mmf with respect to stator is rotating in the opposite direction of the rotor rotation okay the stator rota stator mmf rotor mmf might be a bit confusing but if you go through it number of times it will be easy so i'll write down this negative sign means the negative sign means okay the speed is in the opposite direction of the rotor rotation 
rotor rotation okay so that is what it means actually now if you clearly see the speed of the fifth harmonic rotor mmf with respect to stator is minus ns divided by 5 similarly the speed of the fifth harmonic stator mmf with respect to stator is also minus ns divided by 5 therefore the induction torques will be produced that was i was that's the only thing i was trying to tell from the previous video for induction torques to exist at any harmonic condition the corresponding stator and rotor mmfs which are corresponding to that particular harmonic should be stationary with respect to each other see these both are rotating with respect to the stator with the same speed right both are rotating at minus ns divided by 5 therefore there is a possibility of induction torque just like how fundamental rotor mmf and fundamental stator mmf rotate in the same direction with respect to the stator same speed similarly the fifth harmonic rotor mmf with respect to stator and fifth harmonic state uh, speed of the fifth harmonic stator mmf with respect to stator both are exactly the same okay so that is the thing that we have seen here so we will do a small numerical now uh, just uh, to consider the effect of the fifth harmonic okay so in a three phase 50 hertz induction motor running at 1440 rpm so nr is equal to 1440 rpm See, they have not given any information of the number of poles. So, we can take Ns to be the closest one. Okay, So, Ns will be equal to, that is the fundamental speed will be equal to synchronous speed, 1500 rpm. Closest to 1440 is 1500 rpm. Corresponding to 1500 rpm, you know that the number of poles will be equal to 4. You can easily find it by uh, Ns is equal to 120 F electrical divided by B. So, what they are asking, what is the relative speed between fifth harmonic field and the rotor? We have just derived that. And then they are asking what is the slip of the rotor with respect to the fifth harmonic field. So, first we will find the slip. So, we already seen S7 will be equal to, this is the fifth harmonic, right? So, this is NR, fifth harmonic will be in this direction at what speed? Minus NS divided by 5, minus NS divided by 5. So, this will be equal to uh, minus NS divided by 5, okay? And... Uh, what did we see? Minus Ns divided by 5 minus Nr divided by minus Ns divided by 5. Or this is nothing but Ns divided by 5 plus Nr divided by Ns divided by 5. And Ns value is equal to how much? 1500 rpm that we have assumed. We just take the closest value. Nr value is 1400 rpm. If you substitute these two, you will get S7 to be equal to how much? Let me just see how much I have calculated. Um, yeah. NS7 is equal to 5.8. See, when I discussed the problem of crawling, I told you, right, the, uh, so not 7th harmonic, it's 5th harmonic, right? I don't know why I wrote 7th harmonic, 5th harmonic, right? I told you the problem of crawling because the slip values are so high, so the rotor copper loss also will be very high. You can see the how high the slip value is, okay? So, we have found out the B part of the question. So, this is the B answer. Next is what is the relative speed between the fifth harmonic field and the rotor? So, you can directly use this formula actually. Uh, this formula you can use directly. 6 minus 5s into ns divided by 5. But what we will do is that we will just uh, do the derivation. So, I will just write it here. So, ns of 5 will be equal to 120 f5 divided by 5p. Right, 120 F5 divided by 5P, where F5 will be equal to S5 into F electrical, S5 into F electrical. What is S5 value? 5.8. So, 5.8 into 50 hertz. Okay. So, NS of 5, that is, what is NS of 5? It is the speed of the rotor MMF with respect to rotor. Okay. So, NS of 5 will be equal to 120 into F5 is equal to 5.8 into 50 divided by 5 into number of poles is 4. Okay. So, Ns of 5 will be equal to how much? Uh, 1740, 1740 rpm and what will be the direction? The direction is opposite. The direction is opposite to the rotor rotation. Rotor rotation. So, this is the information about the uh, 
fifth harmonic okay fifth harmonic okay in the next video we will do the same derivation for the seventh harmonic and we will do a numerical okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe channel and uh, let us fight to throw this corona virus out of our country so please try to break the chain maintain social distancing and always maintain proper hand hygiene so till i see in the next video it's me varun signing off and have a great day thank you now that the video is over please stay with me for 30 more seconds now the vision of this channel is to create a repository of good quality videos with crystal clear explanation regarding various topics related to electrical engineering now if you want to help me spread the word please share this video with anyone interested in these topics the second thing is that for me education is a two-way process therefore if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding any of the videos or regarding the channel please put them in the comments below we can have a healthy discussion and that way we can build a strong community of electrical engineers so that's it for today's video so till i see you in the next time it's me varun signing off and have a great day thank you